You ever be sitting in nature and something happens to let you know that Mother Nature is with you, is watching over you? Like your ancestors, your grandfather, your great, 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 great. All the way back, you can't say enough greats all day if you wanted to. Get back to them. Your ancestors that were wise and happy. They lived in abundance in Africa. Before slavery, before white people, before anger, fear, and shame ruled the world. There was love. There was greater and evolving love. There was truth, universal truth, unconditional truth, and irrational forgiveness that was miraculous. They cast hot coals on the enemy's heads. You had to be careful. Well, you have to be careful now. Back then, there was grace and mercy. Not talking about the European before Europe was formed, before white people came out of the caves, before there were white people, before albinos from Tanzania migrated to the Caucasoids, before there was a significant number of albino Africans in Africa. When nothing no other land held humans when Africans were it. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of years ago. Hundreds of thousands of years. When the pyramids were just a thought, they were a sacred spot a meridian line that offered supernatural epiphany that I call third eye nuts. There was a grandmother named Muna, which means hope in Swahili. She was the healer and she was responsible for making the elixir, vats and vats of elixir. You only needed one cup to trip for a whole day. It was hallucinogenic and it helps you to find the greater epiphany and communication with Amun Ra when you went to the Temple of Light that is now underwater because they built a dam to cover up the evidence of how technologically advanced the African was before white people existed. Because they didn't want people to know the white man is a parasite. He is not the original. He is a copy. He is Borg from Star Trek. He assimilates what he wants and discards the rest. He is a plagiarist like Darwin. How can you write something that's so similar to Genesis and then claim it for yourself? Star Wars is coming from the Bible. Light Darkness, good and evil. I'm not mad at George Lucas, though. He does it in a way that's respectful. He has a black wife. But, um, back to the lesson at hand. Black people, you're beautiful. Keep rising to the top. I was sitting here in a green and yellow with greenest flakes, emerald flakes in the yellow and dark black or brown spots in the dark green landed on my green 
And I was going to take a picture of it and watch it enjoy the green, but it flew away. I couldn't capture it. Life is so beautiful. I have so many thoughts like that that, that just slip away that I wish I could share. I try to write them down, but they come too fast, too abundantly, too unexpectedly, too unregularly, which makes them precious. So imagine with me a meditation. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Release the tension. Relax, relate to the universe around you. Find a spot in nature and listen to this until you find the third eye orgasm, the epiphany. The feeling that did not exist in your life before you watched this and attempted to do it. Let me know you found it in the comments. Let other people know it's real. You see, the first thing you have to do is be truthful with yourself. Be candid with yourself. Let yourself allow, allow yourself to see the patterns in your life that are holding you back. You get money, you get stupid, you waste it, you get depressed when you're broke. You find love, you take it for granted, you mess it up. You go find another one. Patterns like that. You should keep a journal every day, right? Every day, at least a paragraph. What's going on in your life? If you found epiphany of the third eye orgasm, uh, what truth is. There's seven principles that you have to meditate on to find the third eye orgasm within and without. From something greater than yourself, from your higher self, so that your lower self can evolve. When you write the journals every day and you meditate on truth, justice, righteousness, order, balance, harmony, and reciprocity, which is what the Egyptians used to find enlightenment, something happens. You start to see beyond what you can see with your eyes. You can even know the future. It's why my tarot card readings are so enlightening. They only cost $10. You can pay me with Cash App. We can Zoom it. And you can have a recording for another $25 of our session. Or if you can figure out how to record it, <laughs> Go ahead. I'm not mad at you. You can do it for $10. Or I can provide you a copy for $25. Uh, let's see. What else? You can contact me. Got my email. It's no love 313 at gmail.com. No love spelled K N O W L O V E 313. And when you get your tarot card reading, post a comment here if it was good or if it was whack. <laughs> I don't care. You still got to pay the $10. 
but most people will be satisfied. If you're not satisfied, I'll give you up to three free for your ten dollars. Don't be greedy though. Anyway, it's such a lovely day. Look at that sky. Peace and blessings. Peace and love. 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 Peace and love.